Hello there, intrepid primal slayers, and welcome to Ifrit Hard Mode. Now you might be wondering, why make a guide on Ifrit Hard Mode? <laughs> you obviously underestimate the mental capacity of other players in Duty Finder. While it might be widely recognized that Ifrit is the bitch primal that is most likely sucking on Titan's rocky toes and serving as a cozy fireplace for those chilly Coerthus nights for Garuda, he actually has some significant upgrades from his normal version. If you share this video with your party, your chances of success increase by as high as 50%. Now, we both know that you're the only intelligent human being in your party, and thus it falls upon your shoulders to explain the fight with immaculate detail before anything begi- Oh, you stupid fucking tank! So, judging by the impatience of your party to learn any new mechanics and vastly underestimating the potential burns that could leave them hospitalized for weeks, here are a few mental notes to keep in mind for Ifrit Hard Mode. Don't stand in the fire. Contrary to popular belief, 99.9% .9 of the time, the fire hurts. For some odd, inexplicable reason, your DPS may in fact be retarded enough to eat fonts of fire like the cheap factory belt line of food coming out of McDonald's. Be sure to reprimand them at every turn for even the slightest mistake. Believe me, you'll be doing them a favor for calling them out and treating them like garbage. Surely they shall grow to recognize their flaws and become a stronger damage dealer for it. Anyways, other than avoiding the fire, anyone but the tank should be getting a nice good look at Ifrit's fiery asshole. Unless you're a paladin, a warrior, or a <laughs> Dark Knight. Be sure not to stand in front of Ifrit, for he spontaneously combusts in rage when seeing more than one person in front of him thanks to his lack of ability to count. But mostly because you don't want to get caught in front of his flame breath. Don't mention it to him, he's really sensitive about it. By now, your entire party is freaking out, running around like headless chickens. Obviously, you are the only collective person to understand the new mechanics of the fight. When Ifrit goes to jump into the air and head into an opposite direction of the room, make sure to relay to your small brain friends that he is about to do a strafing run, dragging his body impossibly fast across the entire arena by the sheer force of rage propelling him. As time progresses, the Primal will become so infuriated that he will split himself into multiple copies. Don't ask how, you really don't want to know. If you haven't been ran over by the North Highway of Fire and Brimstone, you'll probably notice the familiar phase of DPSing down the flame nails. Be sure to make snarky, juvenile puns about nailing Ifrit or nailing the fight into the ground. So, you might have noticed there are four nails as opposed to one, and if any of these beautiful cocks of fire are still jutting from the ground, then you can expect to be eating a buffet of fire for weeks on end. The additional of three nails will most likely confuse your DPS, causing their egos to run awry and split apart to try and DPS a different nail as fast as possible from the other DPS so they can brag about their delicious, hulking numbers that will surely attract several fine-looking bitches. Normally, you would intervene and number the nails for each DPS to focus and whittle down, but, you know, fuck counting. If you've miraculously survived what is probably an explosion that would make Michael Bay cry tears of fucking joy, then you are probably ready for the most difficult gut-wrenching mechanic. Remember what I said about staying out of the fire? Being sick of killed over and over again for some petty trinkets or tombstones, Ifrit will hit a fever pitch rage and start throwing fiery AoEs like nobody's business around the arena. Things like eruption can be interrupted by your tank, but <laughs> why the fuck bother? We both know they're not going to do it, so you might as well rely on playing hot potato with your feet. Continue to avoid overcompensating explosions and light shows and hit his weak point for maximum damage. With this knowledge, I assure you that your Ifrit hard mode experience will be as smooth as you hope it to be, but chances are nobody gives a fuck and will probably just stab the poor bastard until he dies. <sighs> Might I bother making a guide on this? Thanks for watching. What's this? New mechanics? By now, you're in da ba ba, -ba. So judging by the- So, judging by the potatoes... 
So, judging by the impatience of your party to learn any new mechanics and vastly underestimating the potential burns that could leave them hospital- I need a breath.